welcome back to my channel today i am here with my mother and we have got ourselves our own ancestry dna test this was a gift from my mum for my 18th birthday and so today we are going to spit in a tube together and send it off and then in a couple of weeks um, we should get our results back comes in a little box like this you open it up and it's got your little booklet which has information on welcome to ancestry dna and it tells you how to activate your account and how to take the dna test itself so it's got loads of pictures and diagrams on how to do that let's get on with the video success you have successfully wow. activated your ancestry dna test good job it says, do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. And then it says, fill the tube with saliva to the black wavy line, not including bubbles. Do you just spit in it now? Yeah, okay. Great! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Weehee! Replace the funnel with the cap. Remove the funnel from the tube, screw on the enclosed cap tight tightly to release the solution. This will stabilize the DNA in your saliva. So we just take this funnel off. This is so great, my funnel's got bubbles in it. You will know it works when the blue solution from the cap has emptied into the tube. I think, oh, it's going blue, look. Oh, uh, yeah. Is yours going blue? I have bubbles going in mine, so yeah. Oh, you've got blue bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Emptying slowly, see all the bubbles rising? Yeah, mine's, mine's. Magic will be oh, above. Yeah, it will be are. above now because it's got the liquid in it. Yeah, that's why they said don't overfill. Yeah. Then it says, oh, shake the tube. I shake it. Safe like. for five seconds. At least. Got more bubbles now. Okay, mine's gone down as well. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sure they shake it when they do it, anyways. Next is to place the tube in the collection bag that is provided. Seal the bag with the adhesive strip. Our DNA is sealed. And then the last step that we've got to do is put our DNA in this little mailing box and ship it off to the company. And I read it says, your test will be completed in six to eight weeks um, from the time when they receive our DNA. There we go. And I can post them tomorrow. Post them tomorrow in six to eight weeks. They should be back. So we will see you guys then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. So it's been four weeks since I filmed the last part. And both mum and I have got an email from Ancestry DNA saying that our results are in. So we're gonna go straight into it. I'm sick by the way, if you can't tell. Um, so I think we should start with yours. Okay. Because we're expecting it to be boring. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So we'll start with yours. I'll bring it up on here mum. Okay. So, so I'm gonna screen record everything so you can see. And let's get this party started. So, oh, look, 82%. Go discover your DNA. Oh, I'm discovering my DNA. Is that DNA matches? Yeah, but no, it says zero matches. Oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay. Wow. Look so, at that. <laughs> read out your percentages. So, England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, 82%. Mm. So, that does include Germany and France there. Oh yeah. Um, Yorkshire and Midlands. My mother always said maybe there was German in it because of the name Stein. She said mm. it's like German. Makes sense. Ireland and Scotland, 14%. Your ethnic, where's that from? Ethnicity. Ethnicity? Yeah. It's mm, yeah. <laughs> 14% but it can range from about this region, that region, I don't know. Ireland and Scotland. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's where the red-headedness comes from. Maybe. <laughs> Norway, 12% in Norway. 
focus of Norway. <laughs> Who's from Norway? I don't know. Like, that's very specific. Yeah, like, it's it's very much Norway. Vikings. Is that the Vikings that come across and be yeah. them naughty things? Yeah. <laughs> and that's probably why it's 4% because it's from ages ago. Yeah. DNA matches. So it says zero star matches. Shared DNA. Look, you share more DNA with my brother than you do me. Yeah. Because he's more wild. Oh, well, so. Across 16 years. Across, across seven. Yeah, so that's how much I need, segments you needed to get. But look at these people here. Oh yeah, it's his parent child as well. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're not getting away from it. You're definitely <laughs> mine. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty interesting. I think that's it that you can really do with um, yeah. your DNA. Yeah. So that's awesome. Um, how about we look at mine now? Yeah. Okay, so before we begin, um, I just want to give a little insight of what supposedly should be there. So I should have a lot of British, or like obviously, in it, but then I'm half Italian. So or maybe not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, so I should have some Italian around, like. <laughs> Probably not. Well, because it, awesome. you know it's broken down. It, you're supposed to be full English, and you clearly aren't. No. So. Okay. So, but I'm half Italian because my dad is supposedly full Italian. You're supposedly half, but uh, full English, and you're obviously not. Hmm. So I should have some Italian, that kind of area in Europe. Then. I might have some African because the Romans, you know, went down and that was part of the empire. Not a good story, but that's the reality. And then Dad says that supposedly I should have some na Native American in me because his great grandfather or something was part of the Apache tribe or something. Yeah, so Native American. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, let's get right into it. I'm recording. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, bring it up. Oh, France! Ooh! What? It doesn't even say Italy, Mum. Well, Northwestern Europe. Ooh. Northwestern Europe's gonna be Italy. No, because that's Northwest, that's the other side. Oh! <laughs> How does that work? It's not even Italian, I'm shook. Oh my <laughs> god, what is going on? <gasps> How can Ooh. that be? That is crazy. Your dad okay. will think he's not your dad now. <laughs> like he'll go, what? He'll blame oh, me. He'll oh go, my <laughs> god. Okay, well, let's have a look at that. 57%, that's pretty good. Whew. That yeah. was a shock. Goodness okay. me, it's a shock to me. It's like, look at Germany. that. Germany. I know. Oh, I'm weird. so ethnic. <laughs> Oh, Italy. I know. That's crazy. Oh, that, it, it, that can't be right. That, that <laughs> makes me a bit sus now about it all. How can that not be? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it, I mean, you know, is it, that. Uh, is it for, like, is it real in this DNA? Is it just a... Well, yours seem pretty accurate. Well, I know. I don't have any Italy. Like, maybe, it's is like, that Italy? Like, up there, maybe? Like up in the north? Well, Florence. Because we're from Florence. Florence from the north. Because your dad was born in Florence. Yeah. But that's a bit of Italy there, isn't it? Is it? it? Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> like. So 57% England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, which is broken down into Yorkshire and East Midlands and North Yorkshire. He's right in there, mm -hmm. okay. And then I've got 35% French. French. <laughs> well, a lot of people think your dad's French, you know. Yeah, like, that's true. You know, and he's, uh, you know, he's Andre. I don't even, I don't even like France that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there. Yeah, I know. But um, and then I've got 6% Ireland and Scotland, which would have probably come from you. 1%. Jamaica and Germanic Europe. Yeah. yeah. So one percent Portugal. Yeah. I'm sugar. Like, well, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> it literally like, other regions tested. So I didn't have any Americans. 
Native and I didn't Native have any Indian. African. Um, let's have a look here. Italy. See, 11, 11, 11 regions, regions were tested. Italy. Can you and I wasn't one? picked up at all. Nothing. Sicily, Northern Italy, n literally nothing. No. Where is my family from? Boy, I'm supposed to be half Italian and there's nothing. I know. No <laughs> Italy at all. Okay, let's have a look at my DNA matches. Oh yeah, let's see if there's any Italian names. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we might start. Oh, here, I've got close family. Close family first. <laughs> One with well, half, half brother, I guess. Half brother. Yeah. Mother's side, half brother. So, mum? Yeah. See, it's... Oh, look, that's got kind of Massimo nice. there, look. Oh, what? Is that his real name? No. No, it's Massimo. And why does it come up with cousin? Yeah. Massimiliano, but, but there is a Balbi area. Yeah. <laughs> there is a Balbi area, which is good. Yeah, third or fourth cousin. Certainly. Oh, but look, there's no Italy in that either. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. No, it's yeah, there is a 68% Italian, Italian mum. We share 100% 100 100 Italian. Italian. So I can't believe. But we're like this, and we share literally nothing, no DNA. But he's 100%. Imagine being that white. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine. Well, yeah, he's what obviously the generations, hell? generations of Italian, but. So you connected to him, so why? Oops. Oh, I went all the way up. Why? Is doing Italian show? Yeah, that's true. Right, because it's so insignificant. But it makes you it makes you um yeah, question your dad. Your dad was your dad's yeah. really interesting. Yeah. And that concludes our DNA ancestry experiment experience yeah with lots of questions <laughs> yeah unanswered so, particularly from this side yeah, so, which the questions me as well really like <laughs> well yeah so now i'm gonna have to buy my dad one of these tests for christmas and yeah. get him done because if he's because that essentially means it's he's not italian either well, you think so? Because if I have zero, like I was tested for all Italy, if I have zero recognised, then then he can't be Italian. Well, he might have a little bit, but it yeah. won't get picked up for you. Yeah, exactly. Because I might not have taken that gene, yeah. that Italian gene. Well, you look Italian. I know. <laughs> what the hell? You, you but look more like well, I give than me. I must look French or something. Oh, yeah, you know what? People French. say that Dad looks French. Well, he says he's French because he says he goes under Andre, you know, when because people ah, go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Andre, and they go, what? Andre. And he says Andre. Yeah, instead but, of Andrea. Yeah. Anyways, so. Mate, I'll probably film when Dad does it as well. Oh, I so, reckon you should. There will be a part two of this coming sometime um, next year. Yeah. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>